by taking down the solar system to show who is boss and become planets. Are you with us? Ooh. Come on, Pluto. What's taking you so long? Are you with us or not? I don't know. Come on. Do you want to get that planet status? Okay, just remind. Anyways, do you know you guys didn't know anything about the dwarf planets? Well, rumors say that Sirius is hiding somewhere in the asteroid belt. And as for the, uh, the outer dwarf planets, it's possible that they're, they're not official and they're still hiding somewhere and it's hard to find them. Okay, Homeo, you go find Ceres. Eris, you go look for the outer dwarf planets. Pluto and me are gonna look for them too, but just different ones. Okay, and what then? Come back here and we begin the dwarf planet revolution. Huh, I haven't seen Maki Maki in a while. Hey, you. Who, me? Yes, you. Uh, do you even know my name? Uh, uh, Ixion? Ixion. Ixion, that is, there it is. Anyways, have you seen Monkey Monkey? Your best friend, huh? Yes! And also, I'm trying to ask Ixion here. Uh, what? You don't know my name? Uh, Chaos! You're Chaos. You got lucky. Wait a minute, hold on. While I was chatting with Monkey Monkey looking for Homania, I saw something in the distance, but I tried to ignore it. What if that's the reason that Monkey Monkey's Disappeared. Oh, 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 oh no. Uh, what was that all about? Monkey Monkey, you're here. Gong Gong is just looking for you. Now he thinks you have disappeared because of something or whatever. Some mysterious thing. <laughs> wow. Where have you been? Oh, it's a long story. But for now, come with me. Hey, have you heard about our good friend Patreon? Up, up, up. Don't skip just yet. Just hear me out. Our team has made a challenging decision. We want to post longer videos more often. We want content that you enjoy, not stuff the algorithm tells us you want. Otherwise, our channel would look something like this. I've sent all my humans into space, and the first to colonize a planet wins a bazillion dollars! Okay, that's actually pretty cool. But you get the point. By supporting our Patreon, you'll help us to make three long videos every month, plus all the amazing rewards we have for you. But narrator guy, I don't know what those rewards are. Well, how about early content? This video has been on Patreon for some time now. Behind the scenes, deleted scenes, your name in the credits, tutorials by the creators on how to make an animated show, and an exclusive look at the development of the Astro Dude movie. And can you tell me the tiers, narrator guy? Of course! Comet, Moon, Planet, and Star. Each with their own unique rewards so everyone can join our mission. Any support is always welcome. However, keep in mind that the higher tiers have a limited number of people that can join. So if you're interested, you better be quick. Thanks to all the Patreons that already support us. And to the new ones, welcome to the team. All right, back to the video! Okay, guys. So... We found out that Makamaki could be missing. So who's gonna go find him? Maybe you? Uh, no, I'm not going. How about Senna? Senna is too evil to go. Maybe he can go. Uh, I am not going as well, so... Oh, hi! I don't know what your name is, but... I completely forgot you existed. My name is, uh, The Goblin. That's not a nickname. Guys, stop arguing. Who are you? Oh, my best friend. Hey guys, so, uh, what, if you have some good news, what is it? That you're now a planet? What? No! About that, we're facing off a revolution. Do you guys want to join? What do you want to try to do this revolution for? To take down the solar system? Duh. You see, you know, we're kind of like partners in crime, huh? Literally, if Ju we would pass the Ashley Belt, Jupiter would see us and crush all the dwarf planets if he wants to, including his gravity. Actually, our first target would be the Earth. What? what? There's no way! It's not like we're gonna destroy the Earth, we're just trying to fight and killing billions of Earthlings. 
They have some shelter. Have you ever heard about them? Great logic there. But you don't realize that Earth has an atmosphere. You idiot. Hey, don't do it. You better watch your mouth. You're talking to a very good and nice door fight. With the smallest IQ, huh? Wow. Oh, that's so crazy. Ones. That's enough. Gong gong. That's not how you treat someone. Who are you? Well, I'm 2002 MS4. Guys, listen. I kind of agree with Mike and Maki. All of us need to stay united for this to work. Makamaki says that we're not going to destroy the planet because we're not as powerful as enough. But we can make a statement. But attacking the Earthlings is kind of dangerous. What if they fight back? Listen, we have too many dwarf planets. Relax. Listen, we're not just the only dwarf planets. Look who we have here. Meet Varuna and Varda. And it looks like Orcus is here too. It looks like we almost have everyone. I think we do. Oh, uh, if there is a door flying missing, I think they're really busy and stuff, and they don't want to join. But we have to make them join. And no matter door plans there are, a million, a billion, a bazillion, probably more than that. It's time to make a statement. If they won't listen, we'll make them listen. All right, well, okay, yeah, right. let's, let's go. Turn to the destroy the guys. Let's go destroy the earth. Well, yep, we just recruited a bunch of dwarf planets and basically all of them, so no turning back. Do you think we're ready, though? Look, we literally have all of the dwarf planets right now. I think it's time to go on our attack. Really? But are you sure we are prepared? Well, I've heard rumors that dwarf planets can do anything, no matter what. Worst case scenario, we lose the dwarf planets. Best case scenario, we are powerful enough, leaving no one between us and fighting the Earth. Prepare to warm up. Ha uh ha! -huh. All right, let's do it. Let's kick this planet Earth. <laughs>